Hi, thanks for watching this tutorial on insurance reports in Practice Web. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the following insurance reports. Procedures not billed to insurance report. Claims not sent report. Outstanding insurance claims report. If you are newer to Practice Web, there are three reports that you should be extremely familiar with. These reports are listed under the Reports menu and click Standard. The first one is your Claims Not Sent report, your Outstanding Insurance Claims, and your Procedures Not Billed to Insurance. I'm going to go through each one of these reports and some of the issues that may arise with all of them. The first one I'm going to go to is the Procedures Not Billed to Insurance Report. This gives you the option of selecting a date range or you could select a single day, but for this report, I'm going to go ahead and select the date range. I'm going to click on November 2020 and go back to the beginning of the year. Once I have selected my date range, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. This is going to bring up a list of procedures that have not been billed to this insurance. You have the option of printing this report or you could export it so that you can go to each patient's account and determine why these procedures have not been billed to insurance. I'm going to go ahead and print my report and close this window. Now that I have the report printed, I'm going to go ahead and go to the first patient on the list which was Kate Smith. So I'm going to go to Kate and say OK. And I'm going to go to Kate's account. And I can see here that actually there is a claim that has been sent and received as well for the procedures in Kate's account. So there's a little bit of investigating that has to be done right here. As I can see behind each of the descriptions for the procedures, it has the word unsent behind it. And in practice web, that is an indication that the patient has insurance, but the procedures have not been yet to sent. There are two reasons this may appear. The first reason could be that the patient has a primary and secondary insurance and only one claim has been created, which was the primary. If that is the case, simply highlight the procedures, use the drop down arrow next to new claim, and create a secondary claim so that you can send the secondary claim. The other reason why the word unsent might still be appearing behind the procedures is if I double click one of the procedures, I can see down here at the bottom of the estimate section that I actually have two primary estimates. One that shows that it has been received and one that it is still an estimate. And in practice web, we indicate these as duplicate estimates. And in this case of only primary insurance, you can double click on that that says estimate. And if this patient in fact does not have a secondary and the actual first primary estimate has been received, you can go ahead and delete this claim. Say okay. It is no longer says unsent behind it. You want to do this for all the procedures attached to the claim and in doing so, you want to be extremely careful that you, you're actually deleting the one that says estimate and not the one that says receive. So be very careful when determining which one you're going to delete and follow the steps for the, all the procedures attached to that claim. Once you have gone through and deleted all the estimates, you can go back to your report, rerun it for the same date range and that patient should no longer be showing on your report. And you can see here that Kate is no longer on the report. Now that we have Kate taken care of, let's go ahead and go look at Jeff's account. If we go to Jeff's account module, we can see here that he has the same exact situation happening to his account. So we can go through and we can remove the second estimates 
and they're in a different order than they were on Kate's. So this is where it comes in handy, where we want to be extremely careful. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Bill. Bill is in a different case altogether. With Bill, you could see here that we have three procedure procedures that still unsent behind them, which means this patient has never had a claim created. So we wanna go ahead and click new claim and get this sent off as soon as possible. The next report that I would like to show you is your claims not sent report. So I'm going to go back up to reports and we're going to go to claims not sent. Again, you could run this for a single day or a date range. So I'm going to run this one for a date range and you could see that I have two patients, Glenn Rose and Jim Jobs, that are still appearing on my claims not sent. Each of them are still showing a claim status of waiting. So I'm going to go ahead and print this report and go take a look at these two patients. The first patient on the list was Glenn Rose. I'm going to go over to Glenn's account and I can see in fact that he does have a claim that's sitting here that has been waiting to send status, which means I have not yet sent this claim. I could double click on the claim and send it right away. Let's go take a look at Jim Jobs as well since he has the same thing going on, but I'm going to go ahead and open his claim and send it right away. The next report that I want to take a look at is our Outstanding Insurance Claims Report. When I go back to the reports menu, I'm going to choose my outstanding insurance claims. This will always show you a default of 30 days old. And so any claim that is outstanding that is at least 30 days old. But if I want to show all of my outstanding claims and I could delete the 30 days, any and all of the outstanding claims will appear. In this window, you do have the option to exclude or include pre-authorizations, you have the ability to narrow it down by provider, and you also have the ability to narrow it down by custom tracking status. Anytime you change any of these items, you're going to want to click the refresh button to refresh your list. Again, I have the ability to print or export this report, so I'm going to go ahead and print mine and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these two patients. The first one was Kevin Patel, and then I have Julie, St Julie Stiller. So let's go ahead and go to Kevin Patel. I'm going to go select patient and go to Kevin. And I could see here that he actually has a claim that has been sent, but it actually has an in insurance payment attached to it. So this tells me that this claim has been sent and already received. So I want to go ahead and do some investigating. I'm going to double click on this claim and we could see that each of the procedures are showing as received with a payment attached to them. It also has an insurance EFT attached to it as well. So I know this claim has been received. In this case, what had happened is when the payment was received, and the payment was finalized, the claim itself didn't switch over to receive. So you can actually manually change the claim status to receive and say okay. Now the claim is showing as received. Now that we have Kevin fixed, let's go ahead and look at Julie. So we're gonna say okay. And here we're gonna go to Julie's account module. It will show that the claim that was sent but the date of service is from 12-20-2019, which is a little concerning. So this is an indication that I want to con contact Cigna and find out where the payment is for this claim. Once you become a little more familiar with PracticeWeb and the workflow in your office, these are typically monthly reports. And once you've gotten caught up uh, upon all of these 
claims, you can go ahead and start to look at these reports monthly instead of weekly. This concludes our overview of how to use insurance reports in Practice Web. If you have any questions about something that was not covered in this tutorial, please call support at 800-845-9379, option 2, or email us at support at practice-web.com.